back from Kid to Kid Tutorial. And today we're going to be going over bisectors. And don't forget to subscribe. So before we use bisectors in this problem, I'm going to first tell you what a bisector is. So a bisector is something that splits another thing into two equal parts, like a line segment, a line, or an angle. Start with our first problem here. If C is on M, then CA equals CB. So line M is right here, and it bisects perpendicularly with line AB. So that means M bisects AB, and it's perpendicular to it too. That's why you see this right angle here. So if C is on M, then prove that CA is equal to CB. So, as you, if you notice that when I did this to show C, A, and C, B, if we draw a line through both of those, like this, we get two triangles. So one way of proving that C, A equals C, B is by using congruence. Because we have to show these two triangles are congruent because C, B is on this triangle here, and CA is also is on this triangle right here. So let's try to find some sort of congruence given the information we have here. So we know that AM and BM are equal. Line AM and line BM are equal because M bisects them perpendicularly. So remember, a bisector is something that splits an object into two parts, two equal parts. So those two equal parts are AM here and BM here. Now we've shown that AM equals BM. Now let's try to find what other things are congruent or the same. So we have this angle AMC, which is this angle right here, is equal to BMC, this angle right here because this is also perpendicular. It's not just bisecting AB, it's also perpendicular. So that means all of these are right angles. So BMC is a right angle here, and so is AMC right here. So we have SA. So we're getting closer to side angle side congruence. Now we just need to find one side. So I already see it. It's side CM here. CM is on triangle ACM and it's on triangle CMB. So CM is equal to CM. So that's another side. So now we have SAS congruence and that proves, proves that CA equals CB. So let's start on our second and final problem. Show that C must be on the angle must be the angle bisector of x, y, z. x, y, z here, the angle here. And C bisects it. So show, we're asked to show why. So we know that C, P, Y is equal to C, Q, Y. So C, P, Y is equal to C, Q, Y. So, we know that because we know CP is equal to CQ, and CP is equal to CQ, and CPX angle CPX here is equal to CQZ, because we know these are both right angles, and this must be a right angle too, to, uh, to show that this is a straight line. So that's why how we know that CPY equals CQY. So therefore, C is a bisector because it splits these in half. Since CQY is half of this angle and CPY is half. So therefore, C is the bisector of angle XYZ. Thank you for watching Kids to Kids Tutorials. 
And if you like our videos, please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.